Well, my path to UWSP started right over there. I was recruited for football, and I drove up here, and I parked right in front of Sims Hall in 1971. And I got out of the car, and the snow was this deep, and I started walking down this sidewalk and ran right into a gentleman by the name of Hans Beeler, who I wrestled with at Muskego High School, and he was on the wrestling team here at Point. And I go, Hans, where's the football office? I, I smile because I never intended to coach. You know, when I graduated from Point, I went and worked for the construction company in Milwaukee that had hired me during college. And um, Monty Charles called me and said, hey, we're looking for a head freshman coach. What are you doing? And uh, believe it or not, I said no. And my boss heard me say that in the office and he pulled me in and he goes, have you seen the economy lately? We're gonna be laying you off in a month. You might wanna call that coach back. And I did, so here I am. I'll tell you one thing, I have a great memory of being on this field, this practice field. And you know, all the coaches that made this program successful um, and all the student athletes that practice on this field uh, is a great memory for me. We took a team down to Whitewater and the place was sold out because everybody showed up to watch Whitewater break the conference record of 48 wins in a row. Uh, when we came out of the locker room, our defensive captain, Brad Vickroy, looked at the crowd, and I didn't have to worry about my team after what he said. He goes, men, at the end of the day, there's gonna be a lot of unhappy people here. Yeah, and I'll remember that for the rest of my life that he said that. The angry dog defense was something that got this program going. And it all came to a head a um, few years later when we beat River Falls. That was unbeatable. And I have to mention my parents. You know, I, I was not going to college. You know, I had a great job. I was making great money because uh, I worked for this company. I uh, started my junior year. And I had to face my dad going, I'm not going to college. And he looked right at me and he goes, yes, you are. He goes, I'm not going to allow you to make the mistake I made. At the university, one of my major inspirations was my wife, Sheila. I mean, trying to keep up with her uh, was a very difficult task. You know, I mean, she goes and, you know, doesn't lose a game in conference play eight years in a row. You know, how can you match that? And then, you know, you, you have guys like Hall of Famer Ken Kulik who comes up to me now, we know who's the coach in the family, don't we? Um, as a pointer, my major accomplishment was creating an environment here that student athletes wanted to come to. Um, and assistant coaches wanted to come and work here. And, and I'll, I'll be really frank, you know, this Hall of Fame is, induction isn't about me, it's about the people that work for me. Being an inducted to the Hall of Fame is, we hired the right people to put around me, you know? And um, I had one of our ex-athletes one time say, you know, you know, coach, you sure had some great assistant coaches. And I go, you're absolutely correct.